And welcome to the Oddity Archive, the show where one in the laser disc is worth two in the bush. Yeah, I know that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, today, or more accurately, tonight, hence the artificial lighting in here, we're going to have a little party. Uh, in fact, we're going to have a laser disc karaoke party. I've got my invisible decorations up, and I've got my usual distinct lack of refreshments here. So I think we're just about ready to rock. Ow, ow. I just can't headbang the way I used to. Anyway, before we get started getting down with our bad selves to some truly hardcore hits, I figured I'd take this little opportunity to discuss a little issue I had getting the footage together to make this episode. <laughs> Too bad, I'm doing it anyway. Let me state flat out that I do not have a laser karaoke machine. These are Laserdisc players with microphone inputs that act as a small PA system of sorts that ultimately runs through to your TV or home theater speakers. Having said that, not having a laser karaoke machine does not preclude you from playing a karaoke disc. However, some models of Laserdisc players don't always pick up on the multiple audio tracks that are often on a Laserdisc meaning that alternate audio tracks, like the karaoke backing track, don't always work. On my primary Laserdisc unit, a standard American karaoke disc plays properly. But as you saw a minute ago, a foreign title, which makes up the bulk of my collection, Natch, does not play properly. This is just as well, because the standard American karaoke discs are pretty boring. This, <laughs> rather pretentious clip, is about as interesting as a quote-unquote normal clip gets. And before you ask, no, I do not own any pornographic karaoke titles. Sorry. For new. The only reason I was able to access all the proper audio channels is because I own multiple Laserdisc players, three to be exact. Thankfully, one of my units was able to properly read all my discs. Now this <coughs> monster is a uh, Pioneer Laserdisc unit, of course, from 1991. Um, say hi to the nice folks, Laserdisc. Hi folks. Uh, yeah. I really need a vacation, don't I? Anyway, most of the titles that I own are either Taiwanese or Japanese. And that makes sense because it's those more affluent Asian countries that really embrace the Laserdisc more than anyone else in the world. Now, when I was trying to get this episode together, I really wanted to get a group of Japanese businessmen to help me out with this because I understand that once you get a couple of drinks in them, they just become karaoke kings. But, uh, unsurprisingly, there aren't any around here. Big shock. Anyway, I think I found a good example of one, at least. And I found that it helps immensely if you give him a good, swift kick in the balls just before he performs.
it's looking pretty nasty out there. Hope it doesn't stop anybody from coming to my party. Oh. Uh, anyway, you might have noticed a few typos in that last clip. And some wrong lyrics. And some ever so slightly incongruous video to that particular clip to boot. Well, you can thank the Taiwanese Greatest Love Song series for that one. Uh, apparently just the one love song. Uh, on gold discs, no less. Uh, you don't see that every day, do you? Anyway, the most notable thing about this series, well, one notable thing about it is that while this is Taiwanese, there isn't a single non-English word anywhere on the packaging, anywhere on the program. It's all English. That tells me that this was aimed at dumb Americans like myself. I mean, I am the sucker that bought it. And, uh, yeah, just cheap knockoff city. And another notable thing is that while the song titles are listed on the back cover, the artists are not. Which is kind of a problem when you've got song titles like The Power of Love and Release Me, which have several songs with the same title, several hit songs at that. So it's just a little bit annoying when you have to purchase the damn thing and take it home and plunk it in your CD player, or Laserdisc player, as it were, just to find out what you're getting. This series is home to such classics as Bridge Over Trouble Water, The Tennesse Waltz, San Francisco, and Your, Possessive Your, that is, Only Lonely. And for a purported collection of romantic love songs, there's a lot of breakup songs on here like Alone Again Naturally, Separate Lives, and On My Own. But probably the most tasteless choice on this series of love songs, supposed love songs, is Eric Clapton's Tears in Heaven, because nothing says romance like the death of a loved one. The video is horribly incongruous to boot. If I saw you The same series was also released, also from Taiwan, under the name Endless Love Song. Again, apparently just the one. Now, whereas the Greatest Love Song edition of the series often botched the song titles, Endless Love Song repeatedly botches artist names. You've got hits here from the likes of legendary military chef Rod Stewart, Japan's answer to the Manhattans, the Mahattans, Hari Nilsson, Hooray, hooray, hooray! Barbar Streisand, the Jewish elephant, and of course, Neil Cicada. And it also seems to think the words version and vision are completely interchangeable. However, if I have to hand one thing to this overall series, it's that occasionally I could swear you are getting the original hit recordings of certain songs, just minus the original vocal track. Unfortunately, more often than not, the backing tracks sound clunky and hastily produced. Rose, what is this funny looking thing? Pete, that's a laser disc for people who want the very best picture when they watch movies, and we're stocking them now. You bought those on my day off, didn't you? I wanted to move us into 23rd century technology and give the people at Greenfield a better choice of home entertainment. Just wait till you take a day off. You don't think I'm going to leave you here alone, do you? Greenfield, why go anywhere else? There is no one quirk exclusive to these foreign laser karaoke titles, so I figured we should just take a nice big chunk out of the episode and take a look at those general, often quite entertaining, quirks with these discs. 
Now, first up, let's take a look at probably the most common quirk out of these things, incongruous video. Hey Ed, did you remember to adjust the color balance? The color what? Hey, that's my neighbor 20 years ago. Just double his weight and give him a big bald spot and that's him now. I didn't know we used to do interpretive dance. Would explain a lot though. You will always be While her boyfriend was getting his ass shot off in Nam, Lisa took her man's paychecks and took an impromptu trip to Europe to quote unquote find herself. What a rip off! There's no rain on here! For that matter, where's the laughter? No companionship, no nothing? What a ripoff. Woo! I hear laughter in the rain! Woo! Suck on that, bitches! Almost all of the songs on these discs have inaccurate lyrics often incomprehensibly inaccurate lyrics at that. Yeah, damn right, I own that time of my life. It'll never mess with me again. Praise and prepare to die. On another. Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on a bridge. Ah, yes, that all too rare bovine breed of roses. The world belong, huh? Cliff wins? That's a new one. I love you, Logo. Hey, how about some love for me? Know. Some hand on? Some hand on what used to be? Okay, that sort of makes sense. All we hand? <laughs> I got a hand for you. Straight to the forehead. Then you've got those clips that are just a delightful stew of wrong lyrics and weird video. I see no need to. Doesn't this song always make you think of rollerblading? I'm old, old enough to face the down comforter, that is. Just Doesn't this song always make you think of horseback riding? I mean, I know I think of horseback riding when I hear a song about a one-night stand. Before you Oh, beautiful! Absolutely beautiful! Okay, who's up for some bad vocals?
And while we're on the subject of bad vocals, seeing as these are Asian discs with mostly Asian performers, sometimes the accent kind of gets in the way. Summer kisses, winter tears That was what she gave to me Never saw my trouble all along The trail of memories Now let's add poor performance and or inaccurate song tempos and or wrong gender to the mix. Now, this last clip uh, comes from this disc, which I think might be Vietnamese. I'm, I'm really not sure. But uh, I wanted to show you the disc. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but it is cracked most of the way through. Uh, but in spite of that, I was actually able to play most of it. Uh, suck on that, DVDs. Um, but seriously, guys, if you've got a Laserdisc player and you've got a really cracked disc... Don't try and play it. It could kind of, you know, shatter in your machine. I just did because I'm crazy. But uh, I think I figured out how this disc got to be in such a poor state. Somebody saw this clip, ripped it right out of the machine, and stomped on it real good. Don't you worry about my boyfriend The boy whose name is literally known I don't want him, couldn't stand him He was no good, so I <laughs> Now, come on, what was I supposed to do? He was out of town, and his two friends were so fun And that almost does it for this episode of the Oddity Archive Uh... You know, I've made a lot of fun of karaoke and the guide vocals on these tracks here, and I, I know I'm being kind of unfair. I mean, it takes some pretty good pipes to pull most of these songs off, and uh, much better pipes than I have. 
So with that, I decided to list a bunch of songs on our fan page and have you, the viewer, decide which song I should attempt. Now, my money was on you picking The Power of Love by Celine Dion because I figured you'd just really want to hear me belt out lyrics like, Cause I'm your lady! Yeah, I know, I do it real well. But uh, I was totally wrong about that. Uh, the song that you picked, I just called to Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder. And that is it for today's archive. Uh, I'm going to go off and meet my musical doom now. And I'm taking you with me. <laughs> okay, in this case, the vision of actually makes sense because it is Stevie Wonder, you know, inner visions and all. We've covered this lake in Mylar just to see if anybody notices. No New Year's Day to celebrate. No chocolate covered candy hearts to give away. No first of spring. No song to sing. Just another ordinary day No April rain Not with this drought No flowers bloom No wedding Saturday Within the month of June No girl's gonna want to marry me after hearing this But what it is the right line, I don't remember. Made up of these three words that I must say to you. I just call to say I love you. In spite of the fact that we're already together, I just call to say how much I care, though I've got my arm around you. I just call to say I love you and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. See if we can keep those notes a little lower, I do a lot better. No summertime, eh, whatever. No warm July, no harvest moon to the light, won't tan to August night. No autumn breeze, no falling leaves, not even time for birds to fly to southern sky. No Libra sun that you know of, no Halloween, although I think I might go as a singer for Halloween this year. No giving thanks to all. The Christmas joy you bring, or you'll bring, what it is, oh, oh, so new, I think my voice is giving out, to fill your heart like no three words could ever do, I just call to say I love you. I just call to say how much I care I, I, I do. I just call to say I love you. You thought I was going to go for that high note, didn't you? You should know better. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Key change. I just call to say I love you I just call To say how much I care I, I, do. I just call To say I love you Yeah, I know my limits, I'm not going there And I mean it from the bottom of my heart Of my heart, uh, my voice 
voice hurts. Okay, big ending, everybody. Cha-cha-cha.